Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. Man, I swear. I gotta call the exterminator damn spider problems here. into a car for 10 bucks we got flash superman aquaman and the joker the joker looks pretty cool i don't know about the batman the stuff you find at the dollar store plenty of hot wheels goodness here look at that cupcake so now i'm in a right aid and now I'm checking out all the Halloween stuff in the Rite Aid. Oh, they got some skeletons. Ceramic. How much are these? Oh, no. These are not ceramic. These are light-up skulls. Look at that pumpkin. It's a giant bat dog. Skeleton over here. Oh, look at Jack Skeleton. $24.99. That's not bad. I'm surprised nobody got that guy yet. So, guys, I end up getting this giant greeter, Jack Skeleton, for $25. It was a half off at Rite Aid. I couldn't believe it. I never go to Rite Aid, and this was the only one that they had here. And I got this giant guy, 25 bucks. He is a greeter. I was like, you know, I got to pick this guy up, man. You don't see stuff like this for $25. I mean, if you go to Spirit Halloween... You're going to be dishing out like freaking $60, maybe more for this guy. And yeah, I had to get him. I had to get him, man. Come on. Look at him. Look at him. Come on. <laughs> uh, this is by far the coolest thing I've ever, I've ever purchased. And they're all around 25 bucks. <laughs> Uh, chicken. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? All right, we are here at GameStop, guys. I got a $5 coupon I got to use, so let's go in here. Hopefully, we find something. <laughs> What's up everyone? Uh, it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber guys, and we are back here again All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed my little toy hunts uh, That I did this week. So let me show you some of the stuff that I picked up Well some of the stuff that I've already reviewed well somewhat reviewed if you guys didn't see Action figures I would never review until now. There is Rhino right there Looking pretty damn awesome. I have to say really awesome figure uh, if you guys want to check that out, check it out. Um, then I did a review of this monstrosity right here. <sighs> of Kikimura. I had to think about his name or her name. But this is by far one of the creepiest things I think I ever own right there. Kikimura. Um, and then I did a review of this guy, like a vintage retro McFarlane figure. Warlord Kaber, I think his name is. Awesome, awesome figure, guys. If you guys didn't see a review of that, check it out, please. And then I did a review of this guy right here. My first Apex Legends. Really, really dope figure. Definitely recommend it. Cool figure. If you guys didn't see a review of that, check it out. 
And I've been working on my custom, I've put out like numerous videos of this uh, guy and also did it in my action figures I would never review until now. My custom Batman right here. If you guys own this figure then you know he was all gray. And then he had the blue, I just did them all black and then the silver. But I'm done with him, I did my touch ups and stuff with him. The only thing that I left alone was pretty much the blue. But I'm pretty much done with that guy. And then if you guys saw my toy hunt, I was at Right Aid. I don't know if you guys have Right Aid in your in your city, but Right Aid is kind of like CVS or Walgreens, kind of like that kind of store, like pharmacy store. I picked up this guy for twenty six dollars. I got him for half off, man. He stands pretty much. He stands. He's a greeter, so he's supposed to sit, you know, or stand. You know at your doorstep and greet the trick-or-treaters but he's gonna be he's not gonna be outside he's gonna be standing inside and greeting people coming inside <laughs> so yeah I mean this guy half off bro I got him for $26 so that pretty much shows you and it was weird too because he was the only one that was there and it shows you how expensive this guy is I couldn't pass him up bro for $26 this guy look at him there's no way I was gonna pass him up and then uh, at GameStop, my final pickup is I finally pulled the trigger on this man bat. I didn't want to get him, but I had like a $15 off. Um, uh, not $15 off, $10 off. I had my points racked up, and then I had like a $5 off coupon. And so I got him for $26. Speaking of $26, $26, I picked up man bat. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these wings, man. I don't know if I like these wings. I kind of want to customize these wings. I really don't know what I want to do with these wings. I, that's the only thing that I hate, hated about this figure is the wings. Um, but yeah, he's definitely going to be due for a custom. But I picked him up because 26 bucks, bro. Originally, what, $40 this guy is? So, I had to get him. Alright guys, so there was my little pickups for the week. If you guys enjoyed my toy hunt, I just want to say thank you, and I will catch you in the next review. Peace out.